We're gonna analyze Alphabet as an investment and can we just call it Google for this video? We're gonna analyze Google as an investment and we're gonna do it all in 90 seconds. You wanna keep up with stocks, but you don't have the time to read a lengthy report on every company that interests you. You're busy, I get it, I respect that. So I took the most important considerations from my research and packed it into 90 seconds. Use this to determine if it's worth your time to research further, to keep up with stocks you already own, or to just check in with some of the largest companies in the world. Fair warning, I'm obviously gonna go fast. Let's pull up a clock and let's do this. Google owns and operates the two largest search engines and the largest email service provider in the world, as well as many other products and services at the forefront of technology and innovation. It derives most of its revenue from its online advertising services. As of this taping, it has a market capitalization of over $750 billion with price per share trading near $1,100. To own or not to own? That is the question. For me, there are two big reasons you might want to consider owning Google. One, they are super healthy. The company's net worth is over $160 billion with over $100 billion in cash and short-term investments. Compare all that to its debt of only $5 billion, so they're more than covered. And two, they always seem to be at the forefront of innovation. Of course, that may not always be the case, but with their extensive work in self-driving cars, artificial intelligence, and a long list of other exciting technologies, many of which they don't even share with us, they have a lot of potential catalysts for even more significant future growth. Oh, and the founders, Larry and Sergey, although still active, each pay themselves only $1 per year, and that's just adorable. But there are a couple reasons to not own Google. Google doesn't pay any dividends, which is common for its industry, but you should always keep that in mind. Its PE is 45 compared to other internet stocks averaging around 30 and the S&P 500 around 18. And based on its projected earnings growth, a discounted cash flow calculation suggests that the stock is pretty overvalued. So the market is pricing and growth, which is fine. The concern would be that if there is a bear market before any one of those potential catalysts I mentioned actually takes off, Google would likely fall faster than the rest of the market. But if the innovation happens first, I think the opposite would be true. So what do you say? Buy or no? Do you think one of those potential catalysts can take off in a significant way before any sort of major market correction? I look forward to continuing this discussion in the comments. If you found this helpful and would like to see more, don't forget to let me know by hitting that like button. Definitely subscribe and click the bell so that you can keep up with all the companies we cover as we continue to help you build your rapidly growing, highly diversified net worth. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.